Hi, I'm Ross Kenneth Erkin, personal finance editor at thestreet.com and the editor of Main Street. Welcome to What's Working. Nicole, my sister, is out in Las Vegas, but I'm joined by Jordi Kabelens, the CEO of TW Steel. Correct. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So in a sea of luxury options in, in the watch market, uh, you've tapped into this exciting niche that appeals to younger consumers. Yeah. Well, we saw that there was a, a, a gap in the oversized watch market, uh, which was filled by uh, higher end brands. Uh, so it was available, but at a very high price point. And we saw that bigger watches became more popular. So we decided to create a product that has a very luxury feeling. Uh, but at an affordable price point. So the, the, the consumer at, uh, at a certain price point could afford an oversized watch as well. And uh, that turned into uh, quite a success. You're 30 years old, you're uh, from Amsterdam, and you're not of the typical businessman ilk. You actually are, came up from uh, DJing and had a, had a record label. <laughs> Talk about the influence of music and how it's um, played a part in, in TW Steel. I think, well, it played a big part. I mean, I always had a connection with, uh, with watches from, uh, from a young age. Uh, I did, you know, from a sales point of view, I always uh, uh, worked a lot with watches and did DJing as a hobby. Uh, and I then wanted to turn it into more professional career. Uh, so I started my own record company when I was 19. Uh, I did that for a couple years and it was actually during that period as well that I discovered that a lot of the DJs, a lot of the people that came to the parties, you know, I saw that they were, the girls were wearing the, 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 the male watches and, you know, they were looking for bigger watches. So if you look at it from that perspective, it definitely helped a lot, of course, you know, with the, with the uh, creating of, uh, of TDB Steel. You have so many interesting strategies uh, in terms of partnering with musicians and with Formula One racers yes. uh, and racing teams. Uh, what have been your most recent uh, collaborations? Um, I think, well, I mean, we've been in the motorsports pretty much since, you know, from the very early, uh, early start. Uh, it just had the right connection, you know, TDB Steel, it's a, an affordable luxury brand. Uh, we, you know, timing, of course, and motorsport, that's what it's all about. So from, from a very early start, we had a connection with motorsport. Um, and we were with we, Renault in 2010. Yeah, that right. was, I mean, that was actually already after a, a, a few years. We first did uh, WTCC in Holland and in Europe, and we then moved to A1GP, which was the World Cup of Motorsport. And after a successful couple of years being active in, in the motorsport world, we were approached by Formula One, which, you know, after the company was only four years old when we started that discussion, was quite a big step. But it was a step that I saw could bring huge potential to TDW Steel and could take the company to the next level. And uh, in 2009, we signed a three-year partnership with a Formula One team, which was Renault at the time. They changed in 2011 to Lotus Renault and in 2012 to Lotus. Uh, we had three very successful years. But with our focus on Asia as well, uh, we decided to change teams to uh, Force India. So early this year, we announced another multi-year partnership again with the Formula One team. Excellent. And we were talking earlier about the potential economic index for watch faces. As yeah. watch faces <laughs> expand, these are some of your new um, wares. They're, they're quite bold. Yes. Uh, I wonder if, uh, if that confidence shows uh, a little bit of robustness in the economy. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't know exactly, you know, what we discussed earlier, the connection between the size or, you know, how the economy is going. I mean, what we do see is that with the, you know, how the economy is going, people still like to buy nice things for themselves, but yeah. they are much more aware of price points. Uh, you know, when it used to be that a purchase would go easier, now people are very much aware of a 500 or a thousand or 5,000 or 10,000 dollar purchase. Right. Uh, and we've seen a, a switch of people that used to spend a lot more money on, on watches uh, that you know still want to have that luxury feeling when they buy something, but they're looking 
you know, for a good deal. And that's what TDB Steel offers. We're an affordable luxury brand and we offer great products, you know, with great uh, 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 quality at an affordable price point. Jordi Kabbalans, thanks for being on What's Working. Thank you for having me.